Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with my first ever third party review of its not a knockoff oversized Hasbro figure. This is Galaxy Meteor by Mate Toys. This is their take on a masterpiece style Cybertron Starscream from Transformers Cybertron and Transformers Galaxy Force from the Unicron Trilogy, as voiced by the legendary Michael Dobson of the Dobson Brothers Trio. As you can see here, Starscream is in a very Cybertronian, Tetrajet-inspired vehicle mode, except somewhat flatter and more like the Jedi Starfighter from Attack of the Clones that Obi-Wan used, compared to the more pyramid-shaped ones from the G1 cartoon. Besides comparison, here he is with Galaxy Force Exelion, their take on Hotshot, the Takara repaint of Cybertron Hotshot. The Velocitron Bullies, Crumble Zone and Ransack. They mostly answered to Megatron, but Starscream was still around while they were about, so... And just for the sake of it, here he is with Armada Optimus Prime's Minicon Sparkplug. Sparkplug doesn't even extend to the reach of Starscream's gun barrel, let alone the rest of Starscream himself. So, for features in this mode, Starscream's front cannons here can move up and down. One of them's a bit, a little bit loose on my copy. And for some reason they're walked slightly outwards, so mileage may vary on that one. There are also hinges on these wings so you can position them to your liking. I normally tend to have them ever so slightly angled down while on the main straight outward hinge. And you can remove the gun from the underside by splitting the nose cone and just dropping it out like so. You can technically use the side planet key gimmick in this mode. There's no springs or anything in the actual key slot, it's just a place to put the key for screen accuracy. The actual springs are in these dark blue buttons on the wings here. Press those and out come the swords. With a metallic sand green kind of colour on this part here, but they are a show accurate translucent purple. Normally intended for robot mode unless you intend to have him side swiping jet fire in mid flight. So to transform star screen, first split this part here, disengage the ab crunch from these pegs down here, fold these pegs in on themselves, then Split this whole assembly like so, ratchet back down, swivel the knee like so, bring the legs forward, bring the foot forward on a ratchet, come underneath, bring out the heel spur, flip this part inside the toe like so to complete the foot. Then these pistons here on the shins are actually a spring loaded button. Press those and bear with me. There's a spring loaded feature in here that fills out the back of the shins with the spring loaded panel where the yeah, button is operated from pressing the piston details on the front of the shins. That's done it. This is so you've still got full knee movement and no hollowness in the back of the legs. Excuse me a moment while I retrieve the key. So, same on the other side. Ratchet everything into position. The knee swivels are on a spring loaded thing, so you have to pull it out slightly to rotate it 90 degrees for the transformation. And here we have Main Toys Galaxy Meteor alongside the official Hasbro and Takara Hotshot Crumple Zone and Ransack figures. Just for a yeah, comparison with bots from the same cartoon series.
So, for features in this mode, you can put the key back in the slot on his back. That's where the key enters in the cartoon, but it doesn't actually do anything on this toy. You have to press the spring-loaded buttons here to flip out his twin swords. It's a shame they never made a second version of this figure that came with the yeah, Emperor Starscream crown, the yeah, um, Omega Lock and the three Cyber Planet Keys of Earth, Speed and Jungle, and the, yeah, you know, the Null Laser Cannon arm um, accessory weapon that came from that version of the Starscream design of the cartoon. Oh well, I'm sure a few upgrade kits are out there somewhere. So, for articulation in this mode, head can move left and right, it's more or less a very stiff ball joint. Shoulders can ratchet forward and back, and uh, the wings are on multiple ratcheted extension joints as well to get them out of the way of dynamic arm poses. And you can move the arms in and out as well, although the shoulder kibble gets in the way. There's a bicep swivel, a more or less double elbow bend from a single joint. And the yeah, index finger is got a hinge in the middle knuckle and a ball joint at the base knuckle. And the middle ring and pinky fingers are all one piece with the same ball joint at the base and hinge in the middle knuckle. And the thumb is on a ball joint as well, so it can be moved around. So, for example, to put Starscream's gun into his hand, you would need to flip out this tab to create the robot mode gun holding handle, like so. Then this tab will slot into a groove on Starscream's palm, much like any other third party Transformers Masterpiece style figure. You have to fold the thumb down like this to get it, the uh, parts clearance in place for it. Then slide the thumb up like so, and hinge the fingers around the gun. Like so. Arm articulation is the same on both sides. There's also a waist swivel. There's a cut in the chest plate just above the cockpit canopy for that to happen. The yeah, shoulder, I mean the yeah, chest guns can still move upward as well to get out of the way of the waist swivel. There's a ratcheted ab front as well that's uh, mostly performed by these pistons on his backpack here. Then the, yeah, Length, there's ratcheted movement, although I must warn you that the yeah, so called ratchets on his uh, hip outward movement is actually more like a squeaky polystyrene box. Much like the rotors on the Armada Cyclonus mold, which, like TJ Omega said in his Armada Cyclonus review, summons a load of ducks in the area when you're at it. I can see what he means. Then there's also a ratcheted thigh swivel, a very deep knee bend because of the spring-loaded calf panels getting out of the way. And there's also this uh, spring-loaded swivel above the knee for transformation, a ankle tilt, and a feet can ratchet up and down for transformation. So that's about it for my Galaxy Meteor review. There is also a Generation 1 version of uh, Make Toys Meteor for their Masterpiece Starscream style figure. And of course the yeah, Galaxy Meteor mold was also done in the yeah, G1 Thundercracker and Skywalk colours as uh, their versions of the Wall Within Dreamwave comics design.
final things with this thing are as being got three swappable faces. I currently got the yeah smirk face on because that's just signature star screen now, isn't it? But in order to swap the faces, you pop off the helmet like so, peel the face off, and then stick a new one on. It can be hard to do sometimes because these shoulder things are in the way, but if you've got big enough nails, you can get it done. So, in addition to the smirk, he also comes with another smirk and a neutral, just disgusted with Megatron stupidity kind of face. These don't have light piping in them because of the way they're designed. They've just got a metallic bit of uh, purple plastic to make the yeah, eyes the right colour. So, just pop the neutral face on there and stick the helmet back on. Though I must warn you, when you're putting the helmet back on after swapping the face, it can sometimes shove the head back down into its vehicle mode cavity, so you might need to unpack the backpack and flip the lever up to fix it again afterwards. So, that concludes my review of Galaxy Meteor. I have been Sound Blaster 1987. Join me next time when I continue my look at the Unicron Trilogy and its uh, numerous updates with MK Hot Rod. Till then, till all are one.